up guys Andy here and welcome to episode 11 of Andy plays this week we are going to be playing ESPN NFL 2k5 for the PlayStation 2 now uh, why are you asking me why are we playing this game well I'm gonna be honest I love this game growing up and uh, this is the next this episode and next episode will be football this week we're doing 2k5 and then we're going to be doing Man NFL 04 two games I grew up with now ESPN you think of uh, Monday Night Football now well yes they are going to be doing a game believe it or not on ABC well yeah by the time this uh, video was out on Sunday that game will already have been done with already the uh, Texans and Raiders but yeah we're gonna get right into it let me select the teams I know what we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing a little bit of a flashback for most people let me bring back a particular date for a reason. I'm going to bring up a... Well, let me do it right now. January 8th, 2005. Now, you may be asking yourself, why are you bringing up this date? Well, I'll explain why. That was when the New York Jets defeated the San Diego Georgias on ABC. And that was when ABC did their own exclusive broadcast for uh, football before ESPN took it over. But yeah, here we go. Oh boy, Chris Berman. No! <laughs> oh boy! All right, I'm gonna do tails. Oh no! Chargers will receive. I'm gonna do a kickoff with the wind. Oh no, that's a bad kick. That's going to be down. So the ball's going to be on the Georgia's 34-yard line. Now, keep in mind, when this game came out, it was revolutionary. Not that many people expected this to be great. Oh, yeah, Drew Brees. This is when he was on the Chargers. I remember this. Oh, I can't even sack Breeze. Unbelievable. And keep in mind, this is way before LaDainian Donaldson was even on the San Diego Georges. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. My mistake. Ah. Oh. So this must be when Curtis Morton was on the Jets. See, I don't have that much of a good memory. But I do remember this game. They would have won it in overtime. And then they lost the Steelers the week after. Now, I figured if I can uh, bring it up. The uh, Jets were the five seed, so they were the wild quad. See, I'm not doing great. Let's see what the slide's for. Oh, no. Neutral zone infraction. Come on. you to be kidding me. Neutral zone infraction. Unbelievable. Come on. Hike it. So this time I'm able to stop Tomlinson. 
Now, I remember the Eagles were so good that year. Everybody thought they were going to win the Super Bowl. Everybody thought with Terrell Owens and Donovan McNabb being the one-two punch, they were going to win it all. They were going to win it all. But no, Patriots won the Super Bowl that year. That was one Super Bowl I didn't like was two teams I couldn't stand. Patriots and then let me switch the defenses for a sec. I'll go um, 3-4. Uh, cover men. Because they might, they might pass. I gotta be prepared. <laughs> oh, he tipped it. Anyhow, here's the story. With the Jets that year, they went 10-6. Very good season, I will admit. And that was the first year, I think, Herm Edwards was the coach. Oh, they're going to punt? Just the kicker is awful. See, again, I barely remember this, because this is when I was a kid. How am I supposed to remember something that happened 12 years ago? But I am reading you the stats, at least. Now the Georges that year. I'm gonna run it first. Georges that year won their division. They went 12 and 4. Oh no! Why did I do that? Squares dive. Minor technical difficulties. Let's see what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go PA Team Stream. So here's our lineup. Santana Moss, Wayne Herbert. That was a decent team that year, but Pennington was the quarterback. I remember that. And pick up the first down. That's nice. That was a nice fake. You know, the crazy thing about the Atlanta Falcons that year, I remembered it very well for some weird reason. I don't know why I did. Oh, not bad. What you want? As I was going to say, I remember that year. The Eagles and the Falcons were in the playoffs. I do remember that. And they did face off in the conference championship game. And I remembered very well that game was in Philadelphia. And they were worried. And this is a true story. There was actually a snowstorm that hit the night before. <laughs> and Fox was worried they weren't going to get the game in. And uh, thankfully they did. Oh, pass interference coming up. Oh, a holding penalty. Not bad. See, that would have been a first down anyway. Here's the holding penalty. Jeez. Alright, here we go. First down coming up. See what I can do. Ah, I got picked off. No. I should have not thrown it to Morton. Now, there was something historical about the 2004... NFL season. Sorry about my cell phone. I'll put it on vibrate afterwards. Oh, I picked him off! I'm going all the way! Who 
Look at that. David Barrett picking him off. See, I remembered. Hit the right button at the right time. That's crazy. Get the VCR ready. They're making an old 2004 reference. Here's the extra point and, and the extra point's good. As I was going to make a point about Peyton Manning, at that time, he had the most touch, uh, touchdown passes in a season. That's an interesting statistic because that record was broken by Peyton himself a few years ago many people do remember that why am I making bad kicks today this is ridiculous I used to be able to make so many good kicks when I played this game all the time and now I can't maybe because I was so used to playing it on Xbox that could be my reason Nice tip. And another interesting fact I forgot to mention about the Colts. Most patching touchdowns by a team in an individual season. That was previously held exactly 20 years before that by the 1984 Miami Dolphins. Speaking of the 1984 Miami Dolphins, we have to remember that Dan Marino held the previous record at 48. Peyton Manning was able to get 49. So that's an interesting statistic. In the divisional round, the Patriots defeated the Indianapolis Colts, which uh, pretty interesting how... Oh, the Colts deep, uh, offense was great that year. Well, not in the playoffs. Not when you only had a field goal. Which I actually did remember that. Oh, no. Well, that stinks. Encroachment. Oh, I'm the first quarter. I'm sorry for rambling on about these random facts. But I figured the more you know, then maybe it'll help. Now, an interesting statistic from the 2005 playoffs before the Patriots even took on the Colts at Gillette Stadium in Indianapolis on Wild Quad Weekend which was on that Sunday January 9th again I gotta turn my cell phone off let the clock run down for a sec guys I apologize that's better let's see what I'm doing here I'm running it. Second and seven. Not bad. At least I'm gaining yards. Let's see what I can do here now. I'll do uh, the 90 play. So as I was saying, Denver made it to the playoffs. On that Sunday, January night, the Colts won. And that's why... Wait a minute, that was a fake! What was I doing wrong? You gotta be kidding me. That stinks. Here we are, third and long. See what I can do. Oh no. Help, 
Then I have to punt. This is going to be a better punt, at least. That's not a good punt. I have to stop printing square because uh, this isn't going to work. Tomlinson gained about seven yards. That's, I'm not even saying anything correctly because I'm giving so many interesting facts out. And yet... Ugh. Boy. Okay, here we go. Second and seven. Oh, boy, another good tip. I remembered how good Tongue was on the D-line. He, if you needed a big play, he was there for you. I used to remember watching the Jets in those years. Man, they had some, they had some decent teams. I will admit that. Flag. That's going to be a third and two. All right, I'm going to go strong blast here. Oh no! Tomlinson got a first! Alright. I don't I don't know what no huddle's gonna be doing here. I'm calling timeout. This is getting ridiculous. I need to stop them. Yeah, I like recollecting on uh, previous football memories from when I grew up as a kid. Especially playing these games. Okay, good. I held them to a field goal at least. You know what I don't get? Why are they punting when they're in field goal range? Can somebody explain me this? I can't understand this. Maybe they feel they should get a touchdown? Alright, now I'm going to run it. I'm going no huddle. See what I can do. I'm going to see if Martin can be unstoppable at this point. He's going to be. I'm calling the second time out now. I finally figured out what button to hit. And I went on the long play. At least the way to kick a field goal. Unbelievable. No! Like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the 
All right, now I'm going to have to run it. So I'll let the clock go down to the two-minute warning and think about what I'm going to do. Now, first of all, I'm not punting. I want a field goal. That's what I want to do before we end this video, right? Let's end the video on a high note. Let's see. Yeah, so I'm going to do a weak dive. I don't care at this point. I need the first down. Come on, Curtis. Oh, we got the first down. Holy crap. That's the uh, numbers from the 2003 season. All right, here we go. I'm going to make sure everybody is ready. I do not want to call timeout yet. Holy crap, I got it! I forgot how to spike the ball. But at least I'm in field goal range. So if I need to call timeout, I can do that at least. I have one left. Holy crap, he's going! All the way! Woo! <laughs> now that's a nice drive. Curtis Martin sticks close to his blockers here. And it pays off. Either that will put a touchdown in his stack column. And that's always nice to have that. So far, this is going to be a nice way to end the video. A touchdown by Curtis Martin. Fourteen nothing. That was nine plays, eighty one yards, under two minutes. Not bad. Even though I did call two timeouts, one on defense in this quarter and then just now on this drive. Okay, let's see. Oh no, another bad kick. Another bad Why do I keep making these bad kicks? doesn't make any sense see all the charges can do now is just run down the clock or what they're gonna do is maybe they're just gonna try to kick a field goal now and realize that they could have gotten six points and then missed out on them of course they're gonna call a timeout now why wouldn't they call timeout now? But well, there you go. San Diego just called timeout. Hey, there's another flag coming up. How many neutral store infractions are going to be in this game? Unbelievable. Oh boy! So I might stop the torches again. And I could do now is just take a knee and end the video. But this has been the longest video in this series. We're up to almost 25 minutes. Oh, worry, the video is going to be over soon. Oh, <laughs> that was short, and they're not even going to go for it. Oh my goodness, how stupid are they? Oh, I get it, they're going to want to let the clock run down. That's a very good strategy. Because all I could just do is, you know, that's good coaching at least. They should stop it now.
All right, so uh, I'll take a knee, and then I'll uh, end the video. So, thank you guys very much for staying tuned to this video. Uh, yeah, next week we'll do Madden NFL 04 like I promised. After I take this knee. So, until next time, take care.